Greggy boy, hey buddy, great to see you last week and play with you. So just a couple of thoughts and, and do whatever you want with these thoughts. Um, but I think if, you know, whoever your coach is up there or if you just work on stuff yourself, um, set up positions look good, okay? Um, camera's moving around a bit, sorry about that. I'm trying to stay still, but you look, you look nice over the golf ball. I mean, you could stand a hair taller to it. You know, you're a little bit squatty to it, but that's that's not a big deal you know I'll take you back into your backswing you know, your grip is a hair stronger than the average bear and you know I'll show you what I see here and you, you do with what you want okay so it's a very around golf swing you know it's more ferris wheel than it is merry-go-round I'm, I'm sorry it's more merry-go-round than it is ferris wheel ferris wheel obviously being a vertical hula hoop merry-go-round being a hula hoop that just lays on the ground. So you have in a very around swing. Now you'd commented, Martin, I'm, you know, I'm hitting them out to right field. You know, so when you watch this, here comes this club and you can see that, see where it's traveling. You know, if I put a target line down here, you know, you hit a nice ball, but when you look at where your ball wound up, you know, kind of at the end of that arrow, but this club isn't traveling that way. It's traveling, you know, very inside out. And here's the thing, like you optimize your driver amazing. Because you hit a knuckler draw that goes very, very far for its, for the speed you swing it. Okay, so your impact alignments are great. On the left screen, you can't look much prettier than that. Lower right shoulder, higher left shoulder. The club is um, starting to catch up to the left arm, but it hasn't quite. I mean, this could be in a magazine. Okay, it's fantastic. Now the only little thing you can manage and and just. You know, it's like a recipe, right? Everything's a recipe. You do it really well. But here this club just path gets just a little too inside out. And so your complaint to me was, you know what? I, I, I'm missing to the right. You know, so when you have a path that biases too much inside out, you know, something that wants to kind of go a little bit too much this way before it turns a corner, you know, you're going to you're gonna wind up in that box over there in the red sometimes unless the face you know, happens to rotate in a nice way. And you said, you said, I'm not getting through it. And I always joke with students, I say, if you're not getting through it, you're not prepared leading to it. Meaning that if your swing gets too flat around you and swings too inside out, the good chance that the ball is going to go to the right unless the face is a little close, so you hit your draw. Okay, so I took this video of you when you weren't looking. And I'll show you a comparison, okay? So I just took one in the studio here. So I'm going to take my swing to the top. And in particular, look where my right arm is relative to the seam on my shirt. And then I'm going to do the same with you, take you to the top. And you'll start to see how your arm gets a little bit behind you. Right? So your elbow kind of encroaches on that seam a little bit, a little different look than the one on the right. You know, if I draw your humerus bone and then I draw the seam on your shirt, pretty pretty on top of each other so the instinct from here is to kind of you know your weight pressure shifts fine but then that arm's going to push out in front of you and just push the path a little too far to the right sometimes you know and this every every shot i recorded you hit pretty well so it wasn't like i recorded a bad shot you made it work every single time so just some thoughts for you okay so if we kind of go so there's the behind view let's just kind of go down the line down the line um I think I have a driver in here somewhere. There we go. Let me blow this one up a bit. Move it more into play. You know, so you know, like I say, Greg, you're a good you're a good golfer. Very good. You do a lot of things well. Okay. It wasn't your day when you played with me, but I mean still. I mean I don't know what you shot eighty four, some wasn't end of the world. But you know, you shot seventy one, which is fantastic, right? So here's just a little taller posture on the right. You can kind of see, you could stand a little closer to the ball, get the toe of the driver a little closer, tick, just a hint. You know, if I was saying, you know, could we get the driver there? Could you get a little taller? You know, get the handle just a bit more up, get a little closer to your work. But, you know, I w I'd love to see, a bit, instead of so much of the around, the merry-go-round, just a hint more just a hint more Ferris wheel, if possible. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, you drove it really, really well, but you can kind of see where this club's kind of traveling through the 
target line, there's a pretty good chance the ball might start straight. Now, I don't play any golf, so obviously I'm going to, I gotta, if I played a lot of golf, I'd probably hit it pretty much where I'm looking. But you play a lot of golf, so if you blend a little bit of this in and take a little less of the inside out, um, ex mild excess out, you'd hit a lot straighter. And, you know, and to add to that here, I'll talk to you about it in the room here. Um, so, put the other camera on. There you go. So, you know, what I'd say to you is, obviously, a golf swing grade could be a very much a Ferris wheel. Straight up, straight down. Very much a, you know, merry-go-round. And I think if we can get you just a hint, just a hint more elevated, okay, so this is elevation. This is you going straight up. And I teach a lot of old dudes how to go straight up, how to rotate, and then how to have a little bit more angle of attack downward. Because you would struggle on downhill lies. You would struggle if you're in any kind of rough at all because your club comes in from inside and low to the ball, which is nice if you're always playing like in Arizona where there's not much rough and you can, wherever you find it, you can hit it and it's pretty good. But if you play in some place that's rough or on hills, Golf can be tough for a swing that's a little bit too much like a merry-go-round and doesn't have enough Ferris wheel in it, okay? So, you know, just a little, a little bit of a thing for you to think about is, you know, as you, as you make your turn, you know, and I know you know this, right? So this is a retraction. This is me taking my humerus bone, moving my elbow behind me, right? What I'd like to have you consider just farting around in the house once in a while just to add a little bit into the recipe not freak you out is take your left hand, put it behind your right elbow like this. And then without trying to bend your fingers out of the way, see if you can turn your back to the target and keep, a, don't put much pressure on the hand where it busts out of there. See if you can just make some swings like this and, and see if you can manage that trail arm as opposed to getting it too, a little bit, you know, too much behind that seam at your shirt. Because I'd sure love to see Know, a little bit more of that look than something that gets a little bit too withdrawn back behind you because now the play is going to be to shove and get the path moving a bit too much inside out. And believe it or not, I think there's a bit more speed in your swing because, like, say I just gave you an axe and we put a log here and we're going to chop the log in half. You'd go like this and you'd go wham and put the head into the thing. Well, the golf swing is not too different except instead of straight up and down, while we're creating this behavior, we're creating a rotation. Then it starts to look like golf. Now the thing's a bit more up so we can shoot it a bit more down where you get a little bit pulled behind you and shoot it out. So I'm talking a few miles an hour, but more than that, just the angle of attack improvement and fractional club path um, help that gets the club traveling a little bit more. A club's always going to travel in an arc. You know, and we want that arc to be touching the target line when we hit the ball not excessively moving inside out because that's going to tend to chunk it a bit and then you know shove them out to right field unless the face to path is such that the face is close enough to draw the ball back anyway my man just some insights for you great to see you let's play golf again soon